Okay, part B um, says region R is the base of a solid. Um, for the solid, each cross section perpendicular to the x axis is a square. Write but do not evaluate an expression involving one or more integrals that gives the volume of the solid. Okay, and we know that, um, so we have squares sort of coming out of this page that are perpendicular to the x axis. So we have squares like this, squares like this. and everywhere in between. So we've got some little sort of curvy area, some little straighter area. Okay, so this is a, you know, an approximation of what it might look like. I could shade it in, but that's going to muddy up the picture. Um, what I know of these squares right off the bat is that the area of any of the squares with respect to its side length s is s squared. I also know that in this blue region right here, the side length here is determined by this height, which is natural log of x. So I know for one region, um, so area 1 in terms of x, is the natural log of x squared. I also know in this purple region over here, um, this height is measured by 5 minus x, so I know for that second thing, second region, the area of each square in terms of the variable x is equal to 5 minus x squared. And since I just need to write the volume formula without actually evaluating it, I know that the volume will equal the integral of all of these areas. So that's the integral from 1 to that a, from part a, that 3 point whatever, of the natural log of x squared dx plus the integral of all of these areas. So that's the integral from a to 5 of 5 minus x squared dx. And that is, they told us not to evaluate, there's no real reason not to get an approximation. We could easily do that since we have a calculator, but they told us not to, so we'll leave it here.